If you don't want your hat to look like this, make sure you watch today's video, man. What's going on, YouTube, man? Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. I gotta show you guys the easiest way for me, and I think it's probably the easiest way for anybody if you go ahead and take these couple steps, get these couple of products, and your hat will be perfectly curve your brimmer be perfect uh but that's just my opinion i said i know it's a lot of different ways and techniques to do it but i feel like this way is probably the easiest i tried other ways this one right here i hope it would definitely help you guys especially if you're just now starting to collect uh your hats from hat club liz hat drop uh, there's a couple of different spots that i'm still trying to get through like it's a lot of spots i try to buy them on they're selling instantly and i'm not that hip yet but i'm definitely trying to step up my hat you know what i'm saying hat collection i got a couple here that i've been buying since march but yeah man today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to perfectly perfectly you know what i'm saying curve the brim of your hats you know what i'm saying you gotta have that crispy hat on i know it's a lot of people that do rock the flat bill but for everybody that's tired of the flat bill you know what i'm saying and you want to curve your joint like this I got y'all in today's video, man. So if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Hit the notification bell for your boy. And make sure you leave a huge like on today's video. I ended a tutorial in a minute, but there's no the tutorials coming back up. The how-tos, you know what I'm saying? The top fives, top tens, all that good stuff where we can get some nice comments down below and where I can put you guys on to a lot of new information. All my social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Even my clothing brand unknown collections will be tagged down below. We got a crazy drop coming within the next couple weeks. So stay tuned by following me over there. All right, guys, I got two of my latest hats that I picked up, I think around two weeks ago. I haven't bought a hat in a little minute now. I ain't been really liking nothing I've been seeing, but I recently picked up this joint right here. Super, super nice side patch, kind of basic, but I don't have any, you know what I'm saying, dark green ivory hats. So I went ahead and grabbed this one right here. And then also grabbed the Boston Red Sox right here. Nothing too crazy. I was like, you know what? I got no Boston Red Sox hats. I didn't have any like navy blue hats either. I said, like, let me go ahead and grab these two. And I also got, I think it's right here. Yeah, got the San Francisco joint on right now. I already curved this one. But I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do the video. So I always wanted to put you guys on how I've been covering my hats, how I've been rocking them lately. I think it'd be super beneficial for you guys. So the only two things you will need to do this, man, is a coffee cup, as you guys can see right here. Check it out. And a water steamer. I know a lot of people are like, yo, I don't want to spend the extra bread on a steamer, but it literally costs only 15 bucks. I think this one costs around 15 or 16 dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna link that down below, but all you gotta just go on Amazon, type in a uh, water steamer, and you use something like this to curve your hats. I know it's a lot of different methods like rubber bands. Uh, I even used to curve my hats just using my hands and stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of those. Uh, but the water steamer, as you guys can see, been super intact. I got this like, what, three weeks ago? And it's still looking very, very crispy when I'm rocking it. So first things first, whenever you do get your brand new hat, you're gonna have a sticker on the top and you're gonna have another one under. So just go ahead and pop both of those off. And then all you gotta do is turn this joint on. Check it out. Turn that thing on. It's gonna boil up, it's gonna be bubbling. The water gonna get real hot, you know what I'm saying? So just, you know what I'm saying, don't touch it. You feel me? It even says hot steam near the muzzle. Do not touch. It says it right there. So don't touch it. Then you can hear it, hold on. All right, I think I can hear that. Uh, so if you start seeing the water steam up, it's super easy, I'm gonna show you guys. So as soon as it get done steaming up, I'm starting to hear it. Okay, okay, come on. Waiting for the steam. Come on, steam. All right, bet. Now you guys see the steam. Yes, sir. So all you want to do is hit the hot spot. All you want to do is the brim. So you're going to hit that brim on the bottom. I used to go bottom first. I'm saying don't burn yourself. Just go bottom first. It ain't too hot. Like, I didn't been super close to it before. It never hurt. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Don't get too close in hand because you might burn it. Just going to hit that bottom up real quick. Nothing too crazy. Yes, sir. You know, flip that joint around. It's super simple, man. I guess the only thing hard about it is actually getting a hat and then actually getting a water steamer. But you know what I'm saying? You hit the bottom, you hit the top. And it's really the middle part that I be having issues with, getting that perfect curve. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying? I had a little, little uh, practice under my belt. So uh, you should be good to go. So we're gonna set that down real quick. And all we're gonna do is this. It's all we're gonna do. Make that like a C like this. Kind of do something like that right here. And just kind of curve it a little bit, roll it for a little second. Cause you really don't need to put too much pressure on it. You know what I'm saying? Bend it just a little bit like that. You know what I'm saying? Bend it on the sides, because you got to get that nice, perfect arch on the sides as well. And then the last step, which is super simple, is putting it in the coffee cup. So the hat, the material inside the hat is super, you know what I'm saying, moist right now, it's hot. We're going to let this sit for like five to 10 minutes, and we're going to come back, and then the brim, 
It's gonna be perfect, man. And then with this one right here, I'm gonna show you guys another method that's super easy. You don't gotta spend no money, you don't gotta waste no time. Um, you know what I'm saying? You got your regular hat right here, Boston Red Sox. Go ahead, open it up real quick. You gotta be super careful with it because it's not hot. Don't have that steam on it. All you're gonna do is literally, you know what I'm saying, bend it on the sides and kind of gradually work your way down to where you got the curve that you actually want. Uh, the hardest thing about this method is that you can't really get that middle part. You can actually break that material that's on the inside of the bill, uh, but you can do it. It's gonna take time, a little bit more time than the steamer, of course. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little way how I do it. I'm actually doing it right now as I talk because it's not not too crazy. I just think it's the best way to go as far as, you know what I'm saying, curving the brim of your hat. But we're gonna do it real quick. So I'm pretty much done now. Like I said, the only hard thing about this method is the middle of the brim. You can actually see it kind of poking out right there if you guys can see right at the tip of my finger. So bam, just like that, we have it. Check out the Boston Red Sox uh, method right here. Just using your hands, I ain't do nothing. I don't even think I'm gonna chop this video. I'm gonna show you guys a raw and cut version because all I'm using is my hand to kind of break and bend uh, that, that material inside of the bill. And you should have something like this for your finished product. So now we have both of the hats. Like I said, check out this one right here that I use with just my hands, no coffee cup, no steamer. You have that one. And now we have the one out of the coffee cup. And this joint came out crispy. So like I said, it's gonna be super tight. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is open it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna keep that form like this forever. So you guys can see both of these was with a water steamer. You can open up however much you want it. I got a fat head, so of course it's gonna open up. So I'm gonna throw it on real quick. And bam, check it out. Whew. That thing looking crispy, bro. Looking real crispy. And then for this one right here that we did, I'm gonna switch hats real quick. Boom, still looks pretty decent, but I gotta say, the water steamer method is definitely a go, definitely a must for me. So super, super quick, easy uh, tutorial for you guys. It shouldn't take you too long to do this. I know a lot of people are starting to get onto the, you know, the wave of the MLB hats, you know what I'm saying, the drops on Hat Club and Liz Hat Drops on one I've been rocking with recently. And I gotta give all my credit to the homie, uh, Sneaker Jackson, my boy Tops, for putting me on to copying these hats. And now I'm gonna show you guys the collection and I'm gonna show you guys the hats that started it all for me. I don't have that much, but I have been getting pretty steadily. I could definitely see this collection probably growing larger than my sneer collection, man. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so for the first hat that I bought, I didn't know anything about the drops. I didn't know nothing about side patches, nothing like that. Your boy copped this LA uh, hat right here. Check it out, the Dodgers. Nothing too crazy. This has LA right here, and I got this from Liz Hat Drop, and also had a Lidge HD pin right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, kind of bright. I think this was an Apolitan pack, and then check out the side patch. I was like, yo, I thought it looked dope. You know what I'm saying? I want to get my collection up, and I went and got the first one that I seen. So I went ahead and grabbed this LA Dodgers joint. Also have the New York uh, one right here, the same drop, the Napolitan. Uh, ice cream, if I'm not mistaken, and it has a nice side patch as well, super big side patch. So now I'm gonna breeze through the next couple of them. We have Chicago Reds right here, check it out. Side patch, nothing too crazy, but still dope. Pirates right here, I think this was a champagne or something pack, I'm not too sure. Got this joint right here, St. Louis joint, boom, boom, side patch. Got the San Diego joint right here, crazy side patch with the pin, I really like the pin. And then we have the Toronto Blue Jays and that candy corn colorway super fire and of course you guys just see me have this one on along with the san francisco joint right here i think this is some of my most recent hat pickups the one you see on my head and the two right here got the pirates joint got another chicago reds cap as well check out the side patch like i said nothing too crazy i don't even know what the panic buys be i just really caught what i like got the oilers right here super clean really like this one got another chicago cap thought this was crazy got the bear right there Really, really love this one. And the side patch I thought was spectacular on this joint right here. 1990, Chicago Cubs, super, super fuego. Got another Toronto Blue Jays and a University Blue colorway. This one was perfect when I rocked it with the Air Jordan 6 uh, UNCs. And then last but not least, we have another Pirates cap in that uh, green, green glow uh, type of colorway and the side patch on this one as well. I thought it was fire. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave a huge like, comment down below. Let me know if you're big into the hats. Let me know how many you got down below in the comments. I get some conversation going on down below. Appreciate all of the support. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me over on social media. All the links will be down below in the description box. And make sure you tap into the clothing brand on collections. We got another crazy drop on the way. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. And with all that being said, 
I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.